small jar of kraut that's done fermenting. Now we just need to take um, the lettuce off and throw that away. This, those are the pepperoncinis that Trinity wanted to add to hers. Um, and this one's ready to go. It's already in a mason jar since it fermented in it. So now we just need to put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator. Jar with the garlic crowd in it. Same thing. It's got a big leaf over it. That was to protect it and to not allow like bugs and other stuff, creepy things to get in there. So I will throw that away and I will empty this into some mason jars and put it in the refrigerator as well. It smells so good. The garlic kraut is definitely my favorite, but here it is. We are, I am transferring this into a mason jar. Just a tip, um, we use the wide mouth. Um, Mason jars, it's easier to transfer, less mess. It's just a lot easier to put the kraut into it versus the regular um, mason jar. Court mason jar, it smells so good, it's so juicy. We eat this on eggs, hot dogs, burgers, chicken, salads, and we even eat it plain. It's got an addictive flavor to it, so I've noticed that I start craving it daily. Jar, it's all ready to go into the refrigerator. Um, we all we like the taste, but we also like that um, this is loaded with a bunch of probiotics now because it fermented, and um, which is great for your gut health. So. It's a win-win. It's tasty, it's good for your health, and there's only um, three ingredients in this. There's the pink salt, cabbage, and some garlic bulbs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a like, subscribe, and go watch our other videos.